I think having AI in the organization is almost like having another co-worker who's enormously powerful, but they've got the, the learning maturity of a four-year-old. Give them a task to do and they will go and do it, but they're not a four-year-old in terms of size or capability. They're this enormous machine and beast that can do untold damage if they're not trained in the right way. And you know, much like much like any four-year-old, I think you've got to be really careful how you teach them, how you train them. If you are asking a question to a customer and he is answering is uh, with a yes, but with all the emotion around it, uh, we all understand that, as you know, we need to teach the computer to understand that. And that is difficult. And, and because we need to understand the emotion that is together with the content. So the content is yes, the emotion is no, what is winning? In the past, you know, you would do a Google search online on your on your laptop and get reams of answers, different different options. But actually, if you're using voice, if you're just dictating and asking, you know, an intelligent assistant, uh, what's the best price I can get today on a particular technology, it's not going to come back and dictate to you 20 different options. It's going to curate and say, well, actually, yeah, these three are the best options, or we think this is the one that's got the best reviews. You should go to that one. So the relationship, the direct relationship, between brands and retailers and organizations and their customers is gonna change. In the contact center space, AI is really starting to make agents' jobs easier, right? So that you can use kind of AI-powered knowledge databases, right? So agents can pull information faster, uh, kind of at the tip of their fingers and answer kind of inquiries, you know, more quickly. If you think of the time it would take an agent to, you know, get an email and answer a very mundane question like, what is my password or whatever it may be. Um, it's taking away those types of jobs so they can focus on more kind of com complex inquiries. On the consumer end, it's really improving their experience, right? So they're getting answers faster. They're getting more tailored answers faster. I think there's a lot that people need to do to really understand how AI is actually built, how they can influence it getting to the right outcome. Uh, and then really putting in place the scaffolding around that as a business to manage it in a mature way. I think that you can safely say that most emerging technologies are being trialed and tested in the CX environment. And, and this is things like um, data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotic process automation. So, so all of these kind of emerging technologies are finding really useful use cases in CX. I'm a big believer in conversational interfaces. I really believe that's the future of how humans interact. If you think of all those videos of two-year-olds swiping on their iPhone and their iPad, that same thing happens with devices like Alexa. Kids already know how to interact with them. And th that's where it gets really exciting. The, the data is all unstructured. It's free form. People can say whatever they want uh, to these interfaces, to the chatbot. So it can be hard to understand what they might say and how they might say it. And that's where it gets really interesting with the AI figuring out uh, the underlying user intent, getting them the, the proper answer back, and that's what I'm really excited about. Think Human for me, I think, is all about starting with the customer and with the employee and really trying to understand how you can deploy digital and analytics in a way which drives empathy, warmth, love, some of those human characteristics that we don't always associate with machines. How do we think in a way which enables us to do that using the digital technologies that we have available today?